There it goes. Greetings, Stan from Planet Earth here, and here I am at Grouse Mountain Skyride. Actually, I'm putting on that silly accent because I have grown a quarantine mustache. So I look a little bit Sam Elliott right now. And no, I'm not just a walking, talking mustache, but I'm at the North Vancouver Grouse Mountain Skyride. Um, I've come here today just to go up this Grouse Mountain up here. Usually it's a, a skiing resort, but today you can just ride the ski ride up there. And I've, I've heard, I've heard there's a bear up there, a grizzly bear. I'm gonna go up there and see the bear. And take care. Let's go. Oh my goodness. So now it's time for me to go and buy some tickets and to cover my hideous moustache with a mask. See you later, moustache. My ticket has been purchased. So it's said to be the safest mode of transportation in the world. Look at that. That's one hell of a motor. All right, thank you. Thank you. Here comes car number two. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Grouse Mountain Super Sky Ride. Our trip to the top today is going to take about six minutes or so, in which time we'll pass over two towers. So I'd just like to make sure you steady yourselves as you pass over. I'll make sure that those are known as we approach them. I'd also like to acknowledge the Grouse Mountain is on the traditional and unceded territory of the Coast Salish people, the, uh, the Squamish, the Slaytooth, and the Musqueam First Nation. It is our honor to live, work, and share experiences on their ancestral land. Cool views of Vancouver, down there. My ears just popped. Up and up and up and up and up we go. My ears just popped again. I want to thank everyone for coming to Grouse Mountain today. I hope you all have a wonderful time while you're here, and I look forward to seeing you on the way back down. Thank you. All right, come on out, everybody. Thanks for coming. Thank you. And here we are on top of Grouse Mountain. And immediately, I can feel how colder it is up here than down there. So, uh, bear with me. I'm going to put my hoodie on. So this is where all the ski runs are if it was in the middle of the winter because up here it gets really quite snowy up here. Ah, a sign that could put terror into the hearts of an average man. That is one awesome carving of a bear right there. It's probably actual size. And there's just awesome wood carvings wherever you go. It's, it's pretty cool up here. I mean look at that house. That is amazing. It says private residence on the side. Look here, it looks like it's, it's like a cyclops house. It's got a little eye, a little mouth hat, a little mouth for the door. If that house had a voice, it'll be, Hey there, how you doing? Yeah, welcome to this mountain, eh? Where is this bear? What am I doing? I'm following these bear paws. Oh my word. This is the grizzly bear habitat. Top of Grouse Mountain. There it is. Grizzly bears. That is an electric fence. Oh no. Look at it. It's a teddy bear. It's like it's eating a cookie. They're both, they're both male. They're, uh, the grinder here is eating. So that's a bear habitat, and this is a beer habitat. Hello barman, can I have a pint of beer please? I'm sorry, beer? Strength of the beer. Bear. Physical grizzly distance. So that's one bear, where's the other one? Probably in the woods somewhere in there. Now I just overheard that the habitat that they're in is five acres. Do they have this entire area here and the waterfall and the giant wood forest and the 
there's another area out the back. I feel like this is a, a scene in The Revenant. But I'm happy this electric fence is between the two of us. Because I, I like my back the way it is. Unscratched. Thank you, Bear. I look for the bare necessities, a simple bare necessities. Now I've removed my mask so I can breathe in this cold air. So the lady said that during the winter months where this area turns into a ski resort that the grizzly bears, which you can just see right there, the grizzly bears actually hibernate here in the bear den. So this is where they sleep for about uh, three to four months. That's a, that's a big kip. I mean, I hope there's a big breakfast waiting for them at the other end with eggs and bacon and toast. This is something I've just learned from this sign here that grizzly bears are not true hibernators. They have an extended period of sleep called dormancy. During this dormant period, bears will awaken and move around. So that's a warning to you skiers. Bears can still rip off your face, even when you have got your skis on. And the views up here are really remarkable. Look at that. That's pretty beautiful indeed. hike up to the top. It is very, very exhausting, but yeah, I'm sure it'll be fine. <sighs> Just keep moving. A waterfall. <sighs> Strength of the tash. Let me go forth. So here I am at the top of Grouse Mountain. Almost the top. And I have reached Vancouver's ceiling fan. This ceiling fan is usually switched on in the summertime when Vancouver gets a little bit too muggy and hot. And we just, we call, we, we talk to the council and then they talk to their council and then they talk to the government and then they flick the giant switch and it causes this fan to operate calling down the city. It's quite impressive. Oh, things we can do these days, eh? Yeah. Look at that view. I think I can see my apartment from here. Now just walking a little bit further up, I've noticed that this is actually a zip line from the top of the mountain. Uh, and you can only access it with a guide only, but wow, you can slide down the mountain. Whee! And once you're up the top, there's four chairs you can sit on. Well, here I am. At the top of Grass Mountain. Ah, and look at that view. You can see all the ships over there with cargo and that's where we came up with the ski lift and then you see Stanley Park and Coal Harbour, English Bay, the downtown area and that's where the university is there and you can see Vancouver Island just where the sunset is and there you can see where the Olympic mountain range is in America right all over there that's where uh, Mount Rainier is over there, and um, yeah, Seattle and everything else. And uh, you can see it all from the top of Grouse Mountain, sitting in this really nice blue chair. That leaves me one thing to do. 
I need to walk down. Because the ski lifts aren't operational. It's a long way down, but it'll be fine. It'll all be fine. Well, I wish I would have known this before I started hiking up the mountain. Bear with me. There's a bear in the area. That looks fantastic. Hello, Thank you. Please. It's so warm, I need this. the observation deck that you can go to. And you can see people are coming in from walking up the mountain, which I do not recommend. Because it's easier just to climb up the rope. I've never seen a gondola filled with recycling bins. <laughs> this is the, uh, the older style of uh, gondola. <laughs> The people go in the red ones, which are over there. <laughs> Just a look at that beautiful view. <sighs> Slightly out of breath. Walked up a little bit of a hill. Well, that should do it for me at the top of Grouse Mountain. Say goodbye to this moustache because it's probably going to be going very soon. And let's look at the beauty that is Vancouver. It's Burnaby, but Vancouver. And uh, yeah, it's quite amazing up here. Uh, if you want to check my other videos, look down, look down, click on my name. Have a look at my videos. And if you liked what you saw, subscribe because I'm going to keep doing more videos. Um, See you later. Click the tick. Let me know if it was good or not. Thanks. Laters.